Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. I hope you all are doing very well. So, uh, you know, uh, in incoming videos, we'll be talking about ratio analysis. So ratio analysis is basically, uh, you know, uh, uh, what we will be doing is we'll be calculating certain ratios of a company to determine its financial health. And in, in turn, we'll be seeing that what are the significance of those numbers and how can you use those numbers to select a company uh, on uh, uh, to select a stock, basically, let's say, you know, you want to invest into a stock and you want to see how that company's return would be in the coming future. And you want to decide whether I should invest in that stock or not. So how could you do based on those ratios, right? So significance of those ratios we'll be calculating and we'll be going into the details of all the ratios and what these numbers are telling you, right? So uh, until now, I think the basic understanding we have that we can read the balance sheets, we can read the cash flow statements and we can make, uh, you know, uh, uh, we, we can calculate certain numbers from those balance sheets and, you know, uh, p &L statements, right? So the very first ratio in this series is uh, called the profit margin, the very, very simple. So uh, profit margin is nothing but profit per unit sales into 100. So for example, whatever is the profit of the company that you get from the PNL, sales is nothing but the revenue which comes, uh, right? Uh, the revenue, total revenue which is coming uh, multiplied by 100. So how much of that revenue is the profit that gives you the profit margin? So let's say, you know, the profit margin of the company uh, is greater than 15%, right? So it shows that company is profitable and, you know, it's operating with a good efficiency. But but here is a catch, right? So for example, I'll give you a scenario. Let's say, you know, when, when we when we calculate, when we see that number in the PNL, it includes all, uh, it, it is including all the income which is coming to the company, right? But it But what we want to do as an investor, we don't, uh, we want to invest in the business, right? So we want to see um, how much, uh, you know, profitable is that business in the core, right? So, uh, so how are we calculating the profit? We are taking the revenue, we are subtracting the expenses, but this revenue includes all income of the company. So it could be the income, let's say, you know, the company has invested somewhere or let's say company has given loan to someone and from their interest is coming, right? So that is also included in this uh, revenue part, but that is not the core operations of the company, right? That shouldn't affect my decision in picking that stock right so the better uh, indicator of the company's long-run profitability is basically the operating profit margin and not the profit margin so operating profit margin how do we calculate operating profit margin we basically calculate the operating profit which is nothing but the revenue sub uh, minus whatever interest and the other incomes which the company was getting right so that is not part of the core business i am i want only the core revenue of the company right so uh, because i want to make a decision on the uh, profitability on the business profitability right so we take the operating profit margin which is nothing but operating profit per unit revenue or sales multiplied by 100 so in this way we can uh, you know uh, get a good estimate of whether the business is profitable or not right thank you so much have a very nice day bye bye and please subscribe to our channel